that's the Saturdays and tissues. That Pat, by the way, don't even text in asking us to do parody. It's way too obvious. Mm. And what will happen is some local radio station somewhere would have done an awful version called You and Me, We've Got Tissues. Mm. And then they'll then accuse us of ripping mm. their show off when we were driving through Norwich or whatever. whatever. Yeah. Hello, it's Brian and Brian from the Brian and Brian Show. You ripped us off with your, uh, that idea. We did that first, fatty. Whatever. Um, hey, I'll tell you what I did enjoy whilst on holiday over the holiday period. Mm. I was sitting, listening to my iPod on random, and a goldy looking chain track came on. Oh, yeah. So, bang, press the button straight to the album, and I listened to their greatest hits. Really? Yeah. They, they're gigging again. They've got know, new material. I saw, I saw. Do you know what? You forget. They had some great, there's some mm. great production in those tracks as well. There's some really funny mm. songs, and the lyrics... I've always said this. The lyrics are brilliant, Goldie Look and Chain. Well, they're back. They, sh- they should be writing that Eurovision song. Mm. Representing Newport. Seriously. They're great. Your mother's got it. I can't remember the rest of it, but that's then, a great one. And then, if they won... then I'm a robot! I'm a robot! I'm a robot! <laughs> they could host Eurovision in Newport. Brilliant. That would be amazing. Imagine, like, travelling from Bulgaria or somewhere like that to Newport. Half man, half machine. What does it mean? What does it mean? You have, you have, I you forgot, have, I'd completely forgotten all of these. Yeah. They're really good, really funny. They had this brilliant low-tech website as well. Do you remember that? Which is, like, <laughs> like one of the first ever kind of computer games. It was great. That's right. Anyway. Oh, you'd be pleased to hear, by the way, that Lord Webber has arrived in the building. Hey. Who's singing that? Is that you two? You I just was, stood around. I was you... miming to it. That's what she does. She stands at the door yeah. and sings. No, I haven't seen. Oh, I haven't I love seen it. Evita. Madonna was in the film. It's just. Yeah. Oh, it's what? very moving. Really? Yeah. Right. It's a girls' film, though, isn't it? I don't know how the hell I get. I don't, how the hell is going to get this through this interview? Where we are we like musicals? Mm. We got. Uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber in. Well, yeah, no, because to talk about musicals. I don't know you? how the hell we're going to do yeah, But, like, musicals are kind of his business, aren't they? I mean, they're a big part of what he does. Yeah. Isn't it fair to say all the, uh, pretty much every other musical is just, like, a kind of version of... He, he set the template. You yeah. Know, he wrote the... He invented musicals in yeah, many ways. Hmm. You did. Mm-hmm. Name a musical that was that came along before Mr. Webber. I'm not... Mm. Damn right. Yeah, huh? Bit of research, I could find one. Well... If it wasn't for him, there'd be no South Park, the musical. Really? <gasps> we could talk to him about Chris Moore's show, the musical. We That's could. True. Is the he only here? thing is, what I think we need to do first is we need to explain to him who the hell we are because he <laughs> won't know who we are. Well, he will recognise me and Dom, obviously. Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dom, Dominic, said, Dominic's just watching and shaking his head. What? <clears throat> Go on. He didn't say. He I, didn't say I, nice to meet you, did he? I don't think. Yes, he did. I don't think that he remembers. So, we well, could, that was we, we could have a bit of fun. Right, that's what I want to ask him. I want to say I heard apparently this this band called Folkface came in and made idiots of them, yeah, themselves. Exactly. And hopefully he'll say yes, they did. Mm-hmm. But he'll be sitting next to you two, and you are the idiots. And yeah. also, then the great final part of that is that we have a picture which we can put on the screen, right. which is Andrew Lord Lloyd Webber with us two on either side. Can we get that yeah. up now? The Lord have goes have before look at Andrew, Whatever. not after. Look, 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 look at the picture. It's, it's uh, uh, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber, Lloyd Lord. Yeah. Lloyd Lord. Let's have a look. Uh, can I call Graham Norton a Lord? Because I, I don't want him to feel left out. I don't think it's... There's the photo there's there right. on the there's website. There's the picture. Proof that we did actually meet him. Yeah. I, I, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's Lord Graham Norton as well. Okay. Mm. Lord Norton. Yeah. I like the idea of a pair of lords. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In here. Mm-hmm. Why should Mr. Webber get all the lord action? A pair of lords are leaping. At least make Graham Norton an OBE. Yeah. What did that? What did the swimmers get? What is what? What did the swimmers get? What did the swimmers get? Yeah. Um, Radlington got a MBE, I think. Right. Didn't she? I don't she, really know the difference. She swam fast. You know. Arise, Sir Norton. Graham has to do all these TV shows. Give him something. Hey, we never talked about this. Peter Jones has got a CBE. Really? Wow. Did I hear that? 
Peter Jones of Dragon's Den bought for himself a CBE. <laughs> and you tried to get one of them the other year and you failed it. I well, that, what? You failed your CBE. No, the CBT for the oh, scooter. Right. So that's completely different. <laughs> I'd like to be a dame. Really? You'd be mm. a good dame. Well, why do we do that? Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber and Dame Graham Norton. Mm. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Mm. I like that. Ying and Yang. Mm. I'm not going to call them that. That would be just stupid. Sure. Ying Webber. Yang Norton. <laughs> Yang crazy, Norton. You. Yang Norton. You're ridiculous. What's the big uh, Euro ingredient in this song? Well, we wanted to write a song that celebrated us as Europeans. And often I, I think see, the yeah, UK it. aren't regarded as Europe, so we wanted to make that. Yeah. Clear, didn't we? We did. We wanted to bring the whole of Europe slightly closer together. Yes. The song is called The World Is In Our Hands. I, do you know what? Honestly, I can't even listen to it. Hey, this is good work. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very proud of this song. Seriously. Mm, really? I Absolutely. One, two, three, four. Is your video of this? Yes. Do we video it? Yes. Yeah, we did, yeah. Where is it? I don't know. Right. One, two, three, four. <laughs> The idea when you video it is, by the way, to put it on the website, is yeah. not to just video it and stick it in your drawer. I don't know. It might be on my desk, desk somewhere. I, I think it is on uh, Radio 1 online. Is, is it? it? Yep. I don't know. All right, well. One, two, three. It's hidden somewhere. Four. Language and clothes have made us different. War and religion as well. But underneath it all, we're still... Same people trying our best to gel. Now Turkey and France really hate each other, but we'd like you all to know that in the UK we love everybody, and Eurovision is a great show. <laughs> By the show, way, just show, show, just be, be careful because some of the lyrics. Um, well, they were slightly uh, on the edge at the time, and maybe even more. Unsuitable due to current climate. Yeah. All right, there was that or, thing about, we all hate the French, we all hate the French, they wear garlic and we all hate the French. It wasn't like they that, They ho no. he ho he and we all, was, was that no, it? No, no. It was, right. to do, it was to do with, with fuel supplies. Damn Balkans. Germans, yeah. damn Germans. Was it that version? The issue of, It yeah. was to do with the fact that a lot of people vote for the Russians on the whole because they Apply most of the oil and gas to much of Eastern Europe. <laughs> yeah, but, that was, but in the current climate, that, that would might, maybe be you know. Yeah. What, would you like me to just drop this and go straight to the news? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Shall we? <laughs> well said, Dave. Thanks. Well, it's going to be a hell of an interview when we finally get the boys in. Digital, Digital FM online. This is Radio One. Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber and Dame Graham Norton uh, on the show in about uh, ten minutes or more. I hope Graham explains to uh, the Lord who I actually am before we go it, but and, and in a positive way. Mm. You know, the Lord might think I'm some kind of valet or something. Or, Could you get me an old Grey? Because mm -hmm. that's how he talks, Paul. 